Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces Round 898 Duo 4, and we're going to solve the fifth problem that is building an aquarium. So let's see what the problem states. So in the problem, they are giving uh, some parameters. They are telling how much water capacity we have. Ideally, we need to build an aquarium. They are telling how many water units I have at my home. So I say that I have nine units of water that are available. and they are telling you the height of the coral pieces so in an aquarium in a fish tank or something there are many racks okay vertical uh, blocks so you are just placing that uh, stacking it together now our goal is we need to find what would be the ideal height the maximum height that is possible so that uh, our available water can be poured here that's all so uh, it should not be more than whatever is there so suppose if i can stretch it like h equal to 100 also height can be 100 meters also but uh, i have only water as 9 right so this is not needed i just want to know the closest upper bound so how do we solve this problem so first of all like uh, if we want to know we know the height what do we do the first thing that comes to our mind is we want to know how to find the this liquid portions there are many gaps here so what do i do i should i say the maximum minus minimum or minimum minus maximum what should be it so that is our first thing like we don't know but we understand that okay h is something that we need to find out there should be one ideal h so first we should always start from brute force what is the first step to brute force is we find for h equal to 1 so for h equal to 1 how much water capacity is possible here it is all see if you build a wall here whatever water you pour everything will overflow right because already uh, some corals are there so it is not possible so i am incrementing my height height becomes h equal to 2 if h equal to 2 comes there is only one gap here so one unit of water can be poured i have nine units so still i can increment the h h value as 3 now if h value as 3 i can say that here i can pour 2 how did i know 2 is height minus the coral size so 3 minus 1 is what this is 3 minus 1 that is 2 so this is two units similarly 3 minus 2 is 1 and 3 minus 2 is 1 now again i go for h equal to 4 so 1 2 3 4 for h equal to 3 i have nine units so i have to increment so i say that here 4 minus 2 is 2 And four minus two is two. Four minus one is three, and uh, four minus three is one. So I say that here I am getting approximately eight. Again, I have to increment because nine units. Suppose it may happen that for h equal to five, uh, the units might be nine. We don't know. So for h equal to five, also I do it. The units might be more than nine, right? So here it is like uh, eight already. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen is not possible because I don't have thirteen water units. So I have to stop it by h equal to eight. but the problem with this uh, here is uh, the like uh, the constraints right this height of each coral can go till 10 per 9 so this h can also go till 10 per 9 or more based on the x value uh, sorry this uh, height of this can go till 10 per 5 but the uh, water units can go till 10 per 9 so ideally doing this approach is not possible because 10 per 9 is the x value means we have to go till 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 till 10 per 9 so time limit will be exceeded so what is a better approach so linear this what did we do is linear search we tried each of the height so we just see whether are there any other better approaches that are available or not the only available uh, thing that is better than a linear search is something called as binary search so can binary search be Uh, applied or not so when can we say binary search can be applied the array should be sorted so in this case we are not considering this right we are considering only the h value so h value can start from 1 to any the maximum x value that is there the what the height capacity so that is already a sorted sequence so uh, let's take for example uh, h value as 20 that is the right side and l value as the lowest point as 1 okay so the maximum height possible i'm telling as 20 so let's say coral is same and w i can keep something like 9 only now what do i do as a first step i say that the mid value is 10 what does the mid value mean is the wall size the height size is 10 if height size is 10 how much water is possible if this is the height size uh, if this is 10 how much water is possible that is 10 minus 3 is 7 10 minus 1 is 9 like you just keep adding it now you get something like uh, i don't know you get something like 30 or something example so after adding all of this i say that 30 units of water can be bored on a height of uh, 10 then you know that i have only 9 units of water so this is not possible 
so i need to decrement my r value so r value becomes what r value becomes 10 l value is 1 only if r value becomes 10 i say that uh, the mid value is what 5 if mid value is 5 i say that the height is 5 for 5 minus 3 is 2 5 minus uh, 1 is 4 similarly i get i get around uh, 13 so if we get 13 uh, i say that 13 is greater than 9 uh, for that means that for 5 as the wall size wall height i can pour 13 units of water but i have only 9 units so still i need to reduce so i say that r becomes 5 now r and l l uh, mid becomes what 5 it will be somewhere around 3 right for 3 i can say that 1 2 3 4 only 4 units of water can be poured but i have 9 units so i need to increment the height again if i need to increment i need to increment the lower value right so l becomes 4 r becomes 5 uh, so r is, uh, l is sorry l is 3 right l is 3 and r is 5 now uh, 3 plus 5 is what 3 plus 5 is 8 8 by 2 is 4 now the mid value is 4 as we already know it is around 8 right 8 8 is less than 9 so i say that still i can increment my value so l value is already 3 and uh, uh, mid value is how much it is 4 so what do i do l becomes 4 and r becomes 5 now according to our base condition we should stop it because we have already computed for 5 we don't need it so at last we are able to get the closest uh, water units here so that is 8 now let's understand this with the help of a code so it will be more clear so we, uh, what did we do we just assumed that the middle value will be some height like if it is 10 per 9 i say that uh, 10 per 9 by 2 will be its height then i have to iterate through all the uh, uh, corals in the fish tank to see how much water can be poured if the number of water that can be poured is more than my available capacity i just say that okay this is not gonna work i need to decrement the height similarly you keep decrementing if it if the decrement is too low you need to increment the height so you are just playing around with the binary search so how did we do available water is x that is we are already having it and coral height i am taking it in the uh, vector so once it's done i know the l and r represents the minimum height that is possible r represents the maximum height that is possible since they gave 10 per 9 we can take 10 per 10 or any no other number so we take the total water so total water uh, is a variable that represents how much water can be filled for a particular height now what do we do we take the midpoint l plus r minus l by 2 to avoid overflow and we iterate through it if the mid height if the height we considered is less than is greater than the coral height the difference is what number of units of water that can be there so i say that total water will be the difference of both of them now if the total uh, water exceeds my available capacity i say that i need to decrement my uh, height so that is r becomes mid height now if the total value water is less than or equal to available water means i have eight or nine equal to nine means uh, or if i have only three as the total water height is so small and total water is only three but i have nine means i need to increment the l value l becomes the mid height so the closest bound is always tracked with l we get the exact height now once we are uh, computed all of this we simply print l so this is plain binary search only so what what exactly is happening here is uh, we are just uh, we have to just iterate through these numbers and keep track of the height where uh, we are getting the close proximity so that is the utmost value and uh, this is the submitted code you can refer it and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments thank you